Hey, what's up guys? Mario back again with another trade video. Uh, today I'm going to go over a day trade that I did make on Plug Power. Uh, yesterday, Plug Power had a uh, pre, uh, PR news or a press release announcement on their, their uh, investor relations webpage. And actually, I will show you a little bit uh, how, how that played out. But pretty much, there were some news. They were expanding some fuel cells with, with Walmart, which is a great, big, uh, large corporation. Uh, so anytime there's some news with a, a large company like Walmart, com uh, stocks tend to move. Uh, so there was a pretty big move yesterday. Uh, so today, I wanted to play on the second day move with the low-hanging fruit long in that continuation of that trade. Uh, so I'm going to go over that day trade today and kind of explain uh, overall the, the daily chart, the news, and the levels, the levels that I got in and where I exited uh, for my profit. Uh, so hey, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. Uh, let's get started. Let me sh uh, share my screen. Okay. So um, I guess the question is, why was I interested in plug? Uh, so first of all, plug is in the hydrogen fuel um, sector, um, similar to the EV uh, technology sector, renewable energy. So they've been trending a lot. And a lot has to do with the new administration that's going to come in, the Biden administration, uh, which is uh, you know, environmentally friendly and wants uh, to kind of provide either tax uh, cuts or, or benefits or, or all sorts of um, benefits that will help the industry. So very, very important and a big deal for these type of industries. So, you know, you look at the one year chart, I mean, it's just like an insane amount of trend. You see that, it's pretty amazing. Now, what made me interested for a day trade was that uh, today, they actually, excuse me, yesterday, uh, they released this uh, press release. They have this press release. Now you can find this on their website, plugpower.com, under their new section, press releases. So pretty much the news said, Plug Power expands hydrogen and fuel cell solutions into Walmart e-commerce applications. Uh, so this is really, really good news for this company. Uh, you know, any sort of uh, contract or, or expansion of services or working with large corporations like Walmart are always good news. And it helps them increase revenue. It, it just helps in there so many ways. So um, that was big news. So uh, if you look at the chart, the daily chart, that was in this day, actually. Uh, there was some pretty decent amount of volume right here. Over 49 million shares were traded. And if you look at the intraday chart, um, it had a pretty big spike, especially uh, pre-market. There was a lot of volume. So that was nice. And it had just a pretty much an opening range type of, uh, of move in the morning. Uh, when it opens. So I'm more of a second day type of trader. I find that to be my, my bread and butter. Uh, for me, it's easier to day trade those type of setups. So I didn't day trade it yesterday, but today I felt like, hey, there's an opportunity. You know, there's an opportunity. The new looks good. Uh, the fundamentals look good. Um, the, 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 the stock is trendy. So everything looks pretty good for a second day move. So my thought process was like, okay, I'm going for a second day move. Uh, any pullback to the midpoint, I'm going to get in. And that's pretty much what I did. And uh, one thing, I mean, my, my, my entry was a midpoint. I was looking to exit above 2880s, maybe 29s. Um, you know, based on my risk, uh, it, it started testing the 28 and it created a double bottom right here. When I saw this dollar bottom, I was like, okay, confirmation is gonna be break of this high right here, around 2830s, and also break of the volume weighted average price, which is this purple uh, trend line, and I'm gonna add in. So I did add in once it broke, and I took my profits at 2860, all based on my, my, my risk reward, uh, and that was pretty much it. Now, very different from the last time I traded a plug, under the same type of uh, setup, I, I actually bought in the midpoint, but it didn't hit my, my target, and it had it hit like a very major uh, resistance level, similar to this one, 2870s. Um, and I stopped out, it stopped me out, you know, on the lows. So this time I decided to add a confirmation. And when I added to confirmation, it allowed me to take my profits earlier based on my risk of reward. And it made my trade so much smoother and easier. So sometimes if, if your target in terms of risk to reward is higher, and what the, the chart is telling you, for example, here is telling you, hey, I should take out some profits here at this daily uh, resistance level. You may need to add, may need to add some uh, um, confirmation. So even though I had a really pretty good ad here, 
um, you know, my risk to reward to hit my target was not looking good. So uh, the way to do it is to add a confirmation. Once I added here in confirmation, I was able to take my profit sooner and call it a day. And I had my pretty good, my two to one risk reward. So I was very, very happy with that. So, um, you know, overall uh, plug, uh, it did kind of sell off. It did break into uh, new lows, but by that time I was already out. And I think overall, if you look at the chart, I think we're consolidating. I think this is gonna break to new highs, gonna break the 29 or, or 29 50s with big volume. It's consolidating. Uh, overall, the trend is intact. Uh, it's in the right industry. Uh, again, Biden administration coming in. So they're definitely gonna be very, very friendly to the environment in terms of policies to help uh, companies who are protecting the environment or helping the environment and plug power is gonna be one of them. Um, so that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions, um, don't forget to, to ask those questions down below on the YouTube comments. Uh, feel free to ask me anything regarding plug power or, or any other stock or including uh, Bitcoin. I, I am invested in Bitcoin. Bitcoin finally broke $20, so that's a huge deal. Uh, so hey, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and you guys will hear from me soon. Take care guys.